Hey y'all, happy Wellness Wednesday. So if we haven't met before, my name is Sherry. I am a real live therapist that practices in in-person sessions here in Jasper, Alabama, and then I do telehealth all over the state of Alabama. So I like to do these videos every week, Wellness Wednesday videos, to bring mental health information to people that might be interested in it. So today I have a viewer requested video on how to let go of anger. And so I wanted to bring y'all something new. And so I wanted to talk about how to let go of anger with a writing exercise. Because writing exercises are things that you can do. You don't have to buy a workbook or anything like that. All you need is pen and paper. So let's talk about a little background first. So if you are feeling like you're spending too much time being angry, frustrated or overwhelmed like in your life today's video is for you if you think you've tried everything to let go of anger and it just hasn't worked um, I may have something new for you today which is that writing exercise and so if you're watching this video you've probably already tried a lot of things to deal with your anger so we all know that ignoring anger lots of times that can be a setup for something bad to happen later um, pretending it doesn't exist, that's kind of a recipe for unhappiness. Um, all of those things that we do to kind of try to avoid anger, it never really works out. So this writing exercise that I wanted to tell you about today is actually borrowed from the 12-step tradition. So if you're not familiar with that, we're talking about like Alcoholics Anonymous, Narcotics Anonymous, things like that. Um, and so you can do this writing exercise by yourself, but remember one of the principles of the 12 step community is to have a sponsor, like somebody to guide you through. And so it would be good with this writing exercise if you could find somebody that you trust. And of course you could always use like a therapist like me or even a priest or somebody like that to um, help you with this writing exercise. So this writing exercise is effective because it actually takes into account that resentment, anger, and fear are all connected. Most people who cannot let go of anger are trapped in a self-obsessed cycle of being afraid of the future, angry in the present, and filled with resentment over the past. So what is resentment exactly? So if you look at the word itself, re resentment that looks a lot like resentiment. So what's going on with resentment is we are refeeling things that happened from the past that were negative. Um, when a person has ongoing upset feelings towards another person or a place because of real or imagined injustice, that is resentment. And so resentment is one of those things, unfortunately, we tend to replay it even if we're not necessarily aware of it. So the 12-steppers have powerful things to say and do about resentment because they say that resentment is the number one offender. It destroys more alcoholics or addicts than anything else. So of course they've got to have a way to get rid of it and that's what we're going to talk about today. They also say that resentment is like swallowing poison and waiting on somebody else to die. And so that really makes a lot of sense because if we're holding on to those feelings or if you just can't figure out a way to get rid of them, it is like poison in your life. So if you're thinking, I'm not an alcoholic, I'm not an addict, whatever this writing exercise is that she's fixing to talk about, it's not for me. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. So when is the last time that you were overcome, overwhelmed with gratitude, joy, happiness, and freedom? Just think about that for a second. So if you can't think of a time that you have felt those overwhelming good feelings, or if it's been a long time, this writing exercise will still work for you. You don't have to be an alcoholic or an addict for this to work for you. Um, resentment is toxic to our inner lives. Um, these resentments over the years may have done a lot of damage. And so one last thing before I tell you about the writing exercise is when you're dealing with these deep-seated um, feelings, lots of times uh, things can uh, get worse before they get better. Um, it's a process and it's actually a lot of work. It may sound like it's just kind of writing things down, but for this to work the best, you really have to feel it 
as you write it down. Um, and so to do this writing exercise, it takes a great deal of willingness and cultivating of an open mind. All right, so when I was looking for uh, something to do this with, the only thing I could come up with at my office is a clipboard and some copy paper. And the good news is that it works like that. Like you don't have to have like a workbook or buy anything. You just need pen and paper. And so what I did was I got some copy paper and I realized that this might be backwards for you and I apologize, so I'm gonna read it. This front page is very important. It says private, read at your own risk. And so that way, when you're working on yourself, when you're trying to work on your anger and figure out a way to let it go, you need to be able to write it down without worrying about somebody reading it. And so this little piece of paper right here um, of course, you would want to take this and find like a drawer and put it face down and in the drawer. You don't want to like leave it out to tempt people. But if somebody digs around and they find this and they read it, they are harming themselves. And so for me to go any further would be a whole nother video. So I'm just <laughs> not even going to go there. All right. So the next page, this is where you make a list list of people I resent. And so how do I know if I resent somebody? So when you think about something like, uh, you probably can't read it, but it says, uh, girl who pulled my pigtail in kindergarten, Polly. You know, if I even remember that, that needs to go on my list. This list needs to be very thorough. Um, I even put on here, uh, I might resent the mail lady. I might resent the mail lady because she brings bills to my house that I don't want to pay. It doesn't matter like if the, the reason is silly or you think it's not legitimate or anything like that. If you get a negative feeling when you think about somebody, it needs to go on here. So this list is going to be long. The more thorough that you are with this, the better that it will work. All right. So next step, you've got your list. So you can make this little form right here. And so this is like you kind of use uh, one piece of paper for each person that you resent. And so I wrote on here, I resent my teacher. So it's person, what they did, how it affected my life. And then my part is the fourth column. So you start over here. So I'm uh, resentful or angry at my teacher. What they did was uh, he gave me a bad grade on um, a paper that I worked really hard on. And then underneath the column where it says how it affected my life, I wrote on there before that, before I got the bad grade on the paper, I felt confident in English class. I doubted myself after I got that bad grade. All right. And so my part, and this can be the hard part. So my part, what I said about this was... I took that one bad grade and I blew it way out of proportion. I reminded myself of that one bad grade often. I used it to beat myself up. And see, that could be my part, you know, in that resentment. And so this column is very important because if I don't see my part in it, that's the only thing that I can change. And so if I wanted to, what I could learn from this is when I get a bad grade or um, a bad report or something like that, I don't have to blow it all out of proportion. I don't have to make it more important than all of the good feedback that I get. Of course, I need to give it consideration, but I don't need to like take it and run with it and beat myself up with it. All right, so I got one more I wanted to discuss with you. So of course, in my office, probably about 75% of what I'm talking about with other people most of the time is childhood abuse. And so lots of times is childhood sexual abuse. So I wanted to be sure and mention that on how to do this because that's a little bit different. You know, when we're children, um, you know, what our part is can be very different. We are not responsible for the abuse that we suffer. All right, so this is how I did this one. So the person that I'm angry at, and I just put my abuser, you can write name, you can write, you know, what you think of them, what you call them in your mind, you know, whatever. And so what they did, abused me as a child, how it affected my life. Now this column, I think in this particular situation is very important. So I took a little time with it. I said, how it affected my life. I have trouble trusting anyone. I believe the abuse was my fault. 
it's difficult for me to see certain things on television without having like an extreme reaction. And then I think that this abuse contributed to me being abused in adult relationships. And so the way I handled my part was I said, I did the best I could as a 10 year old. So this would be something that if you're dealing with this, I would love to help you with this in office or if you're already seeing a therapist, this would be a good opportunity um, for help. So I hope that this hopefully new way of trying to let go of anger, I hope that this was really helpful for you and I hope that it was new. I try to bring y'all um, new solutions to old problems. But if this is um, something that you're struggling with, you know, feel free to leave me a comment and um, feel free to share this video. And if there's anything that you would like for me to do a Wellness Wednesday video on, please comment and let me know or you can message me directly. But I hope y'all have a great Wellness Wednesday.